Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. It's been a while since I've posted, and this is because I'm a full-time college student and I go to school in a different state, so unfortunately I'm unable to bring my detailing with me. Since I'm currently back for winter break, I have a ton of good videos coming up for you guys. In today's specific video, I detailed the dirtiest car that I've seen to date, and I think it's the first one that I've gotten that can finally qualify as a real disaster detail. This car is a 2006 Toyota Scion. This car is owned by a smoker, so the entire thing smelled like cigarettes, and it had some crazy stains on the seats, especially the passenger side seat. One of the crazy things was that this car didn't even have any floor mats in it, which is definitely a first for me. The outside of this vehicle was filthy, and it really needed some love. You guys will see after I wash the paint, all of the crazy damage that this paint has gone through that's pretty much beyond repair. If you guys stay tuned, you'll get to see me extract all of the seats and every single one had some nasty stains. This car really should have been a multiple day project, but I did what I could in just one day. It definitely doesn't come out completely perfect, but the seats look so much better that it, this is definitely a good one to watch. Make sure you guys stay tuned until the very end of the video to see the after shots and the transformation that this car goes through in just one day. Don't forget to leave a like, subscribe, and hit the bell to get notified when I upload my next disaster detail. As always, let me know if you guys have any suggestions for me down in the comment section below. But for now, we will continue with the before shots and get right into this disaster detail. One of the first things that I tried to do was remove the seats. Unfortunately, the bolts were rusting and I just couldn't get them off at all. I ended up just needing to work around them, which was definitely a bit more of a challenge, but it wasn't too hard to get underneath them with my vacuum. To get started off, I'll go around the entire vehicle with my vacuum to suck up as much as I can. Pretty much all of the surfaces were covered in some sort of dust or dirt, so I spent quite a bit of time just going around with my detailing brush and vacuuming to get those cleaned off. The carpets in this car were super cheap and extremely worn down, which made vacuuming a really, really big pain, but I did my best using my drill brush and my lily brush to get everything as clean as possible for my extractor.
After vacuuming up as much as I could, I wanted to get started on these seats immediately. I started with the driver's side just to make sure it was dry the quickest, although it was very hard to resist going to the passenger side first since it was so dirty. For this seat, I had to go over it about three different times. I started the first pass by using my Chemical Guys Lightning Fast, and then I ended up trying out some Super Clean for my second and third pass. I felt like they both did pretty much the same, and the main thing that I needed to do was just keep extracting because there was just so much dirt that kept coming up. If anybody is in the market for an extractor, I would highly, highly recommend the Bissell Spot Clean Professional. It is at a super affordable price and it works just as well as some that are four or five times the price. The link to that and all of the other products and tools that I'm using will be linked in the description down below. I was super excited to get to extract this passenger seat because it was super, super dirty. I'm really not sure what spilled on this, but I'm guessing it was a combination of a bunch of different things over the years. The crazy part about this seat was that all of the fibers were almost glued together and the upholstery was super hard that even my drill brush could barely loosen it up. Although it didn't turn out perfect, you can see from these before and afters that there was a drastic improvement.
can feel it Somewhere inside haunting Like a drug I keep on wanting There's a love that fits so perfect It's hard to believe There's a reason I can feel my heart stop beating And the air gets tough just breathing I'm alone but I'm still feeling like someone's with me It's strange For this backseat, I don't really know what was spilled. My best guess is that the owner spilled that sweet tea that was in the before shots all over this seat. Regardless, whatever was spilled, there was a lot of it because I was extracting this spot alone for about 10 minutes, pulling dirty water out nonstop. Time is unfair, cause I know you're out there somewhere. Patient waiting on nowhere. Feeling like your grip might slip too soon But I'm running, chasing speed and gunning I'll be right there all of a sudden I feel your heartbeat lead me straight to you And here's that nasty, dirty water pour that I'm sure you've all been waiting for. Now moving on to the outside of this vehicle, and I'll start off with these super dirty wheels. As I was rinsing them, you guys can see that dirt was just dumping out of the bottom.
Next, I'll foam up the whole car and take my detail brush around to all the emblems, crevices, and really any of the smaller places that my wash mitt will probably miss. For some reason, I just couldn't get the gas door to open, so I couldn't clean inside of it, but I did my best to get my detail brush through the little cracks on the outside of it. Thank you.
After rinsing the vehicle off, I'll dry it with the Woolly Mammoth drying towel from Chemical Guys. I've seen a bunch of other YouTubers using this and I finally bought one for myself and I can confirm that this towel is awesome. I easily dried off the entire car and the towel wasn't even very wet after. I would highly recommend this product and for your convenience, I've dropped the link down in the description below. After the car is all clean and dry, I'll move on to claying the paint. After I wipe off the quick detail spray, you can really see all the damage that is actually on the hood of this car. I just recently picked up a small hand polishing kit because I'm thinking of expanding my detailing out to polishing and so I figured I'd give it a try out on this vehicle. As you can see, it didn't work incredibly, but it definitely made a difference. as protected as possible, I'll apply some of my Meguiar's wax, which will give this paint some nice shine.
Unfortunately, the sun set on me super fast before I had a chance to clean off the plastics in the car. This is why the next few clips aren't great and I wasn't able to get very much footage of me cleaning the plastics since I'm only able to work outside and I don't have any sort of light. After everything is all cleaned off, I go around to all the plastics and the tires and I apply some Chemical Guys VRP. This gives the car that nice finished detailed look and offer some really nice protection against the harmful UV rays. Apologies for having all of these after shots in the dark, but this is why I made sure to put a lot of before and afters throughout the entire detail. This car is far from perfect, but I think I was able to make a really big improvement from where it started, and the customer was incredibly happy with the results. Please be sure to leave any of your suggestions down below, as I always read all of my comments. Thank you all so much for the support, seeing your nice comments always makes my day. Don't forget to leave a like if you enjoyed, and subscribe for more content just like this. Thanks again, and I'll see you all in the next one.